Here we go with a review from section 4.8, which was the quadratic formula and discriminant. And again, pause the video and see how you do with these two problems. So the first one is solving by the quadratic formula. And hopefully you caught that it's not quite in standard form. So I'm going to add the 2x and the 5 all over to one side. So I really have 3x squared plus 2x plus 5. And I know that a is 3, b is 2, and c is 5. So quadratic formula up here, you need to have that memorized. Um, and I'm just going to plug things in. So x equals the opposite of b, so it's going to be a negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 2 squared of course is 4, but I'll write that out, minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 times a. So when you simplify, of course, they start in the radical, so 2 squared is 4, and uh, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 3 is 12, and 12 times 5 is 60. So that's going to be 4 minus 60. And of course, you know that 4 minus 60 is negative 56, and the denominator 2 times 3 is 6. Um, okay, so we have a negative discriminant, or the number inside the square root is negative, which means our solutions are going to be imaginary. Are there perfect squares in 56? And yes, there are. Um, 4 goes into 56 16 times. Or, I'm sorry, 14 times, rather. So that, I'll just squeeze that over here. So 56 is really 4 times negative 14, or negative 4 times positive 14. That wouldn't matter, of course, what you do. So I know the square root of 4 is 2. So coming down here, I have negative 2 plus or minus 2i, because it's a negative square root, square root of 14 all over 6. And then notice that these reduce to one third and these reduce to one third. And remember, you should really, it's two separate quantities really divided by six. So you want to make sure you reduce that. So that's really negative one plus or minus one i radical 14 all divided by three. And that's your final answer. Um, then the second problem says to find the discriminant and determine the number and type of solutions. And this very question, different numbers only, will be on the test. So make sure you understand the directions. So the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. Okay, no square root. Don't square root that. I just want what that number is. Okay, so I think it's clear that a is 1, b is negative 6, and c is 10. So b squared minus 4 times a times c is going to be 36 is negative 6 squared minus 40 which will be a negative 4 so my discriminant is negative 4 I'm not going to square root that okay the number of solutions then I'll have 2 because I got a discriminant and the type are going to be imaginary okay so 2 imaginary now if I had a positive discriminant, I'd have two real solutions. And if I got zero, I'd have just one real solution. 